If you've filmed important footage, you probably don't want to keep it just for yourself. In this lesson, I'm going to look at some options for sharing your footage and considerations you'll need to keep in mind. One consideration is safety. Ask yourself, could you or anyone in the video be at risk if the video is seen by certain people? Risks don't only include the threat of physical violence, intimidation, or detention. Many people receive online abuse and intimidation through social media after publishing footage. Each set of circumstances is different. You need to make your best judgment on a case-by-case -case basis. If you judge that a video should not be made public, then it may be best to consider only sharing it privately with trusted individuals and organizations, such as human rights groups, investigators, or attorneys. When sharing, always provide a copy of the original unaltered files along with the camera report. If possible, do this in person. If that is not possible, there are a growing number of online file sharing services which can be used. Discuss this option with the organization you are sending the video to. Also, think about asking for a written guarantee as to how your video will be used, particularly if it poses a security risk for you or others. If you are happy the risks are low, then you may want to consider publishing your footage on a video hosting service such as YouTube or Vimeo as well. Note though, that publishing your video on a social media site is not a good way to protect it or back it up. Online files are compressed, so the quality is lower. Metadata is removed from online videos. You can't download the original file once you've uploaded it. The site can remove your videos without your permission. So, always keep the original and follow the suggestions in Chapter 4. If you are happy to publish your video and you want it to be considered appropriate as evidence, then here are a few words of advice.